Tinted. Today we're going to be doing a rear quarter window on a convertible car. Uh, this request has come in by Katrina, um, who was having some problems. Uh, she didn't know how to do the, the rear quarter. The first thing you need to do before you do a, a rear quarter on a convertible car is you need to get the roof down. You need to get the roof down because we need access of that top edge of the glass. So the roof's been down. Now, if this is a window that goes up and down, uh, when you shut the door, so when you shut the door and the window goes zoop, and then you open the door and goes zoop, what you want to do is you want to come over to this hatch here. I'm just going to uh, move the camera. We want to be going to that catch there, just here, and we want to double press it in. Press once, press twice. Now that will cause this window here to go zoop and go up, okay? Now, just let me move the camera back. Now this window doesn't do that, it doesn't go up when you shut the door and down when you open it, but that's what to do when it does. The reason you do that is because you want to push that button in and trick the car into thinking that the door is closed. Because what normally happens is, you shut the door, it hits that button, the window goes up. So by pressing that button in, the car now thinks the door's shut, which has made the window popped up. But like I said, not on this one because the window doesn't move when you shut. And you're going to grab your window film, your window film, which I've cut off already, the factory edge has to be at the top and the bottom, so you can't have it that way. The liner has to be facing you, so the glue has to be facing you, okay? And we're going to put it on this window here. Now, our rubber strip there is straight, so we could just line that up straight to the bottom, which is great, but if it was curved, we're going to have to bring it down and cut it to the shape of the rubber. Let me just move the camera so I can show you. Right, you're not going to be able to see my ugly mug, but we'll probably do the rest from here now. Okay, but let's pretend that this rubber is a funny shape, which it isn't. You're going to put the tin over it. You're going to find that edge, stick your knife right in, and create the shape which like I say in this case was a complete waste of time because it already was straight. The first thing we're gonna do after we've lined up that is we're gonna cut our straight edge by digging our finger against the bar. Make sure the knife can't go anywhere. Give it a quick wiggle, check that it's in the correct position and just slide it straight up. If the tint is coming away from the glass, we have to push the tint to the glass. We have to push it back in again to make sure it's flat. If the tint's coming away from the, the glass and you cut it, you'll cut it short. So we've made that shape, we tear away. What we do next is we push away from this bar now, about two millimeters. Great, two millimeters, fine. Now we're gonna lock the tint. We're just gonna card it here. Now I'm sure you know we haven't stuck anything yet. So all we're doing is pushing the water out underneath, which is going to cause the film to stay where it is, which is what we want it to do. We're going to get our knife. We're going to come above the, the edge. We're going to, our entrance to the tin is going to be above the edge of the glass. And then in one swift motion, we're going to drop onto the edge and come straight like that. Like so. If like something like this, it's got a bit of a rounded corner and you really need to get that one there. You can always try and finish it there just by doing that. And then by that, we're gonna get something like this. Now, what we need to do is we need to finish these edges. So this curve here, I can just pretty much just guess and just round it off and finish that bit there. This bit here where the straight bit meets the bar. Again, we can just correct it by just going straight up. And we get a card here. Now I'm cutting on the glass. Normally you'd cut on a, a preparation board, a glass board for the workshop, but um, not in my case, because this is just a very old car that we're just doing to show me just for the purpose of the video. And again, I'm just gonna line my card up with that straight edge and just finish it off like that. Now I'm just gonna cut a triangle off in the corner, a small triangle off, just 
excuse me, make sure you've got a nice sharp blade. I'm rushing it because it's a... An old car. And I'm just gonna chop the corner off that corner and the corner off that corner. And then what we've got is a rounded tip. When our corners are rounded, instead of having an angle, now they're less likely to peel. We're gonna spray the glass back up now because we're finished with our cut. And we're gonna put the tint back on, but we're gonna go a little bit away from this edge and we're gonna slide it up. So we've got about an inch gap at the bottom here. Now let me show you why. We're going to lock down this bottom corner. We're gonna lock down around the top edge and we're also gonna lock down that side. By doing that, we're forcing all the fingers to pop up at the bottom. Next, we're gonna need a heat gun. I don't know if you can see there, this finger. And we're gonna heat all the fingers down flat. Now, the reason that we have pulled the tint away from this edge an inch too high, is because we don't wanna burn that edge. So by lifting up the tint, taking it away from that edge, we are stopping, we are reducing the risk of burning the car. Now that's ready to go. Now assuming this car has been cleaned, um, we're ready to go. If you haven't cleaned it yet, you might need a razor blade depending on how dirty the car is. If not, you should be able to spray it up with the same solution we sprayed the front of the glass with and just with um, a non-scratch scouring pad. Um, just give it a nice scrub, squeegee you off the water till it is bone dry. But now we're ready. We're gonna get a paper towel. We're gonna come inside of the car there and we're gonna wipe this top edge. We're gonna then very smoothly wipe the glass. We're gonna wipe down that bar and lastly along the rubber gasket. Now we're gonna get our squirting bottle. And from halfway in, halfway out, we're gonna start spraying at one centimetre away from the top edge and we want our water to flush downwards. Like so. And just leave the tint on the outside, just leave it where it is for now. It's absolutely fine. The reason we pulled this tint two millimeters that way before we cut the edge is because in a minute, when we're gonna put the tint on, we're gonna slide the tint back to, to the bar and that's gonna give us two millimeters short on this side, which is very practical for when this window goes up and down and catches on the soft top. Now we're gonna spray up the liner to reduce the risk of dust flying around. That may have done it. And we're gonna pick, we're gonna separate between the liner and the film. Just like so. Now for this, if you, if you don't feel comfortable picking up the film, like balancing on your hands, spray up your fingers. Make sure you've got nice clean hands and spray up your fingers. We're gonna need a blue Mac and a Conqueror. Chuck them inside the car. Now you can get in the car. And from the inside, you're gonna carefully pick up the film here and here. And we're gonna transfer it from the outside to the inside. Now just get it on the glass without touching this bar. Get it on the glass, doesn't matter what sort of position you're in, as long as you're too high. Get it there, and we're just gonna slide it down. Trying to keep the tint as flat as possible, we're just going to slide, 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 slide. If the rubber is tight and you can't get it in, we will get the thin edge of our Conqueror and we can lift the gasket towards us as we slide down. And they're just like so, slidey, slidey, slidey. Now as you can see, that's too low. We've got like an inch gap there, which we don't want. We want the gap to be about one millimeter just so when you feel this edge, you can't feel the, the tip of the, the edge of the tint. Now that's perfect, that's perfect in position. It's butted up against this bar, it's below this gasket, and it's short of the suck corner and the top edge by one millimeter. We're gonna get our squeegee, very softly on the first squeegee, and give it one squeegee, very, very gently. You can keep your other hand just touching the tint so if you so if it moves, you should be able to feel it and you can push it back in the position that you wanted it to be in before it sticks. Just gonna squeegee it out, just like so. 
We're going to get the conqueror again. And we're going to go down that bottom edge. And we're just going to swoop along. Just get the water out of that bottom edge. There we go. Now that's squeegee number one. Normally you'd spray, you'd lubricate the inside of the film by spraying it again. We're just going to imagine I've done that. And we're going to go squeegee number two. Starting in the center, going to the end. Starting in the center, overlapping squeegee. Center to the end, center to the end. Every time, with every squeegee, overlapping the previous one. Center, out, center, out, center, out. Overlapping the previous squeegee. One more squeegee, final one. Spray it with water. I've left the water on the outside of the car for the purpose of the video. I'm not going to be getting it. But spray up the tint. And with a firm push, one last squeegee. Conquer one last time. Get underneath that gasket between the tint and the rubber and slide down. Now, get your um, paper towel, give it a quick wipe. Just make sure that there's no drips there that are going to drip down in the film. Wipe away. Come back on the outside of the car. Wipe all of the excess water and the tint off. Make it nice and clean so we can see what we've achieved. Give it a good look. Check it's okay. And done. Now, the start of the video, I think I said it was going to be five minutes. If I wasn't talking and showing and everything else, that was easily a five minute job. So technically, wind down your convertible roof. Ten minutes, bang, bang. Both of these. I'm Michael Brand from Tinted. Thanks for watching.